What's up, YouTube? Ryan back today with another sports card mail day. We have a ton of packages and a really nice prospect pickup. Let's jump into it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I'm going to jump into this one pretty quick here because I think this one's going to take a while. I don't know what this big box is, so I'm going to save it till the end. I have no idea what it is. I know Jason did send me some stuff, but he didn't mention like sending me a lot of stuff. So we will see what that is. Um, I don't know what order this. This is a nice bubble mailer. I'm going to do that one second to last. Um, and I've been holding a lot of these for a while now, to be honest. Um, so a lot of these, I'm not sure what they are anymore. I do know the one prospect card, and that's, that's basically the only card I'm really looking forward to that I can remember buying. All right, starting off with some PWEs. I'm going to start with this one because I did open it already. Looks like Jason sent me a nice Vikings helmet magnet. Um, I absolutely love the magnets. Um, my fridge is very colorful because of Jason. So a little little Viking swag there. Love to see it. Heck yeah. We'll leave it up here for now. Cool. We'll jump into the next PWE. I'm trying to move pretty quick here because I don't know what's in that box. It could be a lot of cards. It could be one card. I have no idea. Um, feels like maybe this is another magnet. No, it's definitely a card. Never mind. Oh, shoot. Did I buy this? I can't remember at this point. I think Jason might have sent this to me, though. Bowman Chrome autograph of Ryan Spikes. Heck yeah, nice. Cool. I do like Spikes. I'm not as high as I was on him last year, but I do like Ryan Spikes, though. I do think the talent is there. Uh, moving into our next PWE, and we got a nice packing tape to PWE, which I always hate. Um, it's just a pain in the butt to open, but we got that one, they got that one open pretty quickly there. Okay, this is cool. Davizio and De Los Santos. The one thing that was interesting with Donruss this year is pretty much it's all prospects and veterans. There's like no rookie cards, which is weird. Um, but this is number 10 out of 30. This is awesome. Thank you, Jason. I know you sent this over. This is sweet. Big fan of Davizio, and I think he can absolutely rake. And I'm super excited for him to be a D-back. Hopefully, they hold on to him and see him there in the future. Ooh, we have an Armalope. The Armalopes, they're good, good product. I Would I ever buy them? No, but they're a good product. Um, thank you for purchase. Oh, nice. De Vigione again. I think this is from Jason as well. Again, it's been a while, Jason. If these aren't from you and they're from somebody else, thank you, somebody else. Um, or if I bought them, thank you to me. I'm pretty sure this is from Jason, though. So this is the, oh gosh, I can't remember the name of this one. It's a new Refractor Lunar, I think, maybe. Centering looks good on it, though. But definitely a fan of him, of his, and his stuff's definitely getting cheaper, so that's good. All right. These never open correctly. Will they open this time? Oh, look at that. I feel like that never happens. That's a win. Oh. More packaging. Cool. So we're getting some fun little PC D backs, Viking stuff for kind of a hometown slash teams I root for. Okay, I bought this one. I remember this card now. Cool. I don't know if you can see it yet. Ivan Melendez Sky Blue once I get it out of here. Really solid packaging, but man, I still got a lot to do to get into this card. I'm actually going to check out the quality on this one. Just because I do really think Ivan Melendez is going to be super good. I wish I would have bought his stuff before the season when I told myself to. Because last year when he got drafted, I ranked him in my top 10 in the draft class. And everyone's like, why do you have him? You're so biased. You're a Dimebacks fan. Yeah, well, he freaking rakes. So, all right, definitely some print lines. Don't have to worry about it. That's fine. I think I paid like 8 bucks for it or maybe 10 His stuff has definitely gone up since he is absolutely raking now. Um, but I did want to have something of his, just in case he becomes the best baseball player of all time. Uh, cool. Obviously, <laughs> he's going to be a DH most likely. Okay, um, this is a slab. I'm going to hold the slab for now, see if there's any other PWEs that are not slabs. Because I know the prospect buy was a slab, so I'm going to try to hold that till the end if possible. Let's see... Alright, 
didn't love that, but it definitely secured the card. Oh, cool. Oh my goodness. Is this in Jason? Yo, Cole Young, Bowman, Chrome autograph? Dude, that's awesome because I don't have a Topps autograph of Cole Young, so thank you. That is amazing. I absolutely love Cole Young. I think he's freaking phenomenal. That is way too nice. I don't know how much you pay for that, but that was way too nice, Jason. Thank you. That's awesome. They have some really nice like Leaf and uh, Panini autos of Cole Young, but nothing like that. All right, the rest might be slabs. I don't know what's in this thing. This is going to take me a second to open, so hold on. All right, up next. Heck yeah. Add to the Bowman's Best Refractor PSA 10 list Spencer Torkelson. Had to do it. This is my number one refractor PC. Um, I always PC the rookie refractors in PSA 10s out of Bowman's Best. I just started doing it because it was affordable back in like 2018 it's still growing like honestly anyone that's trying to offload any bowman's best refractors psa 10 of like top rookies from the class and wants to sell at fair comps like hit me up because i'm definitely looking to add some players that i've skipped over especially this year and last year as i've been trying to get like more numbered cards but i'm definitely i've been thinking about this a lot recently going back and repurchasing I got repurchasing, but purchasing the, the non-number to keep that going. Um, but yeah, heck yeah, Torkelson, as I'm recording this right now, he's absolutely raking in August. Oh, and one more thing on Torkelson. As of today, the 20 whatever, um, Spencer Torkelson's raking in August. He sent like 250, but he has over 1,000 OPS in the month of August. He's figuring it out watch out everyone he just has really good at bats and it was just a matter of time but he's looking really solid right now all right up next this is feels like a slab but it looks like a really small slab what is this i am so confused right now it feels like a few it feels like a slap with how hard it is But it can't be. It's too small. What is this going to be? It's probably a one-touch. It's probably a one-touch. I'm dumb. Yeah, it's a one-touch. Okay, this is a fun one. I bought this not too long ago, actually. I'm going to open this up. This is a snakeskin auto of Brooks Lee. So Brooks Lee, you know, anytime I make a minor league recap and some prospects going off, I usually go and buy something. And... I wanted a Brooks Lee autograph. It looks a little off-center top to bottom, but this is a cool card because it's numbered 15 of 15. I'm actually going to open this up really quick and see what it's looking like. All right, the first thing I'm going to say, for anyone using one touches, I don't think it affected the card, but it could have. Please put a penny sleeve on top of the surface because you can mess up your surfaces because this 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 uh, top loader is way too was way too uh, like it was compressing the card. And definitely touching the surface definitely not a PSA 10 <laughs> I wish they would have note, noted some of these surface flaws and again it could have happened because of this one touch definitely some surface flaws but at the end of the day top prospect of Brooks Lee it's numbered 15 of 15 I am not mad about it I am NOT gonna put it back in this this one touch there we go cool um, again quality it's whatever it's out of prism draft pick so I'm not expecting a 10 anytime I buy anything prism any sport um, but I paid, I think, like $37 or $40 for this. Number to 15, top prospect. Brooks Lee is like arguably the best hitter out of the 22 draft class. He's had some really huge weeks. Um, but yeah, heck yeah. I'm happy with it. Low numbered autograph. I'm cool with it. All right. And then I'm guessing this is going to be my prospect buy. And then we have that big box. So let's check this out real quick. Should be open up quite simply oh it's not okay maybe the big ones in the box then oh no this is it okay cool awesome <laughs> like what the heck I forgot it was a PSA slab I thought it was a BGS so awesome I thought I had a BGS 95 of this um, but it's a PSA 10 sweet this is the base autograph of CJ Abrams from 2019 Bowman draft and I'm really happy I bought this. I've been sitting on this for like a month now and I've been dying to open it. 
but since I've purchased this, he's been going absolutely nuclear. He's hitting like no doubt home runs. He's stolen like at one point 17 bases in like 30 games or something like on pace for like 90 stolen bases if it was like a fresh season. But yeah, CJ Abrams is looking like the elite player I've predicted him to be. And for everyone in the comment sections that have been CJ Abrams is a bust. He's trash. Like I kept telling you, just give it time. He's going to be good. And look at him now. He's flourishing. So super happy to own that card. I paid 160 bucks for it just to be transparent. Um, I thought it was a really good deal. We have the big box. What is this? Is this a mini helmet? Is this a mini Minnesota Vikings helmet? Oh God, there's peanuts. All right, it's worth the mess. This is cool, hold on. Make sure there's nothing else in here. Get the peanuts out of here. It's not the peanut gallery. Cool, okay. Thank you, Jason. This is sweet. I was wondering, like when I went to my PO box, like what this could be. This answers it. This is sick, thank you. This is so cool. This will definitely be going up in the room. So, heck yeah, that's awesome. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for today's mail day. This is a really fun one, honestly. Absolutely I'm so pumped to own a CJ Abrams first autograph, and it was very affordable in my opinion. Um, Jason, thank you for all the memorabilia and cards and freaking sick Cole Young, dude. Oh my goodness. Um, also happy about the Brooks Lee pickup, even though the quality's trash. Same with my Ivan Melendez, but like just cards of players that I think were a deal, like number to 15 autograph it is panini i get it but like if he ends up being like a stud for the twins like i paid like 40 bucks for an auto number to 15 so i'm gonna take that risk any day but yeah that's gonna do it for today's mail day everyone if you guys like this mail day please get a thumbs up subscribe to the channel as always let me know what you think of the mail day was this good bad anything or is like why are you buying this player ryan please let me know in the comments or maybe there's someone out there that i should be buying right now let me know Thank you all for watching. Have a great rest of your day. See ya.